Hi, welcome to the second episode of Bitchin' with your ex-wife. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the Master Chief Collection. And uh, I have a couple guests with me again today. Uh, one of them you've heard before. The other one is shaking his head because he, he thinks I'm a terrible, terrible host. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we'll start off with the familiar. Uh, once again, we have Daedalus. Hi, hi. Who apparently does not have $10 to spend on a webcam. I don't. And then uh, we also have Prince Wigan, who may be familiar to Halo Gaffers. Hi. And uh, gun enthusiasts slash airplane enthusiasts. Lots of lots of different types of enthusiasts. Lots of hobbies. Such enthusiasm. Uh, like I said, our, our topic today is the Master Chief Collection, but uh, Daedalus made a special request so that we could do uh, a little follow up on our previous episode. Um, so if you want to, Mike, go ahead and take over on your Destiny post post mortem. Destiny's fucking terrible. That's it. Okay. Is, is that all you wanted to say? I thought you had a like, small complaint. No, 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 that's literally all I wanted to say. <laughs> wow. A adding quality I, to the no, show. It's, it's my most disappointing game of the year. Nice. And adding quality to the show every step, Mike. I know. But anyway, let's get on with the actual show and not Mike's sad face. Bitterness. <laughs> That's what happens when you buy the dumb show. kid edition. Yeah, I know. <laughs> dumb kids. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's start about with the good, which is uh, sounds like a plan to me since uh, our previous episode was a, pretty much a downer fest. <laughs> This uh, yeah. hopefully will be a lot more positive, even though it's still called bitching. Yeah. Uh, so, for those who haven't heard and are somehow listening to this, which I don't know what you're doing, uh, the Master Chief Collection has all four of the Halo games featuring Master Chief in them and in one product, and it comes complete with both multiplayer and campaigns for all of those, as well as uh, Halo 2 Anniversary campaign. Our, and a Halo 1 Anniversary Campaign, and Halo 2 Anniversary Multiplayer uh, with some remade maps. So everybody's pretty hyped up. Uh, so hype. Such hype. Hype, hype it out, out the roof. Um, pretty hyped. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, first part of that is the Anniversary version. So this will be the second Anniversary package we've gotten uh, from 343. Um, the first one being uh, Halo CE Anniversary. Uh, that is included in the collection. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on the Halo 2 Anniversary campaign? If you want to go first, uh, Mark. Um, I'm kind of pumped. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's much specific other than, like, pretty excited to play all those levels again. Some of them more so than others, but I think it's going to be awesome. Sounds awesome. Mike? Uh, I mean, uh, I think Halo 2 is probably one of my favorite campaigns, although some of the encounters aren't as well-refined as like Halo, some of the ones in Halo 3. I think uh, the combination of having like all the story bits and, uh, you know, the, just the different feel of the levels, switching back and forth between Master Chief and Arbiter makes it uh, pretty, pretty great. Um, I can't wait to play it with uh, a new coat of paint because right. it was looking pretty rough last time I played it on PC. Yeah, yeah. Halo Two does have the advantage of being like it's still a very clean game. It's like the last clean Halo game in my opinion, uh, art wise. But yeah, the uh, anniversary version looks pretty sick. Uh, kind of bummed out that the uh, sounds are tied to each one, but that's I can understand that being somewhat of a technical issue there. Um, but, yeah, pretty psyched, pretty psyched. I think the new sounds are seem pretty great so far. Yeah, they're actual gun sounds. Actual gun sounds instead that, of that's a crazy fake idea. gun sounds. <laughs> Some guys know. Uh, <laughs> Master Biggie uh, couldn't make it, but he has actually played some of the um, Anniversary Halo 2 campaign, and he said it felt really good. He tried out... Um, 
certain like button glitches and stuff and I think he be I believe he said they still work. I don't know if that's with the anniversary version as well or just like in the actual campaign because you could switch back and forth. I but think it probably will be. I'm yeah. assuming since it's yeah. essentially a coat of paint it should it's still just, work. It's just like an overlay basically. Yeah. It's running so it sh all that should work still. Yeah. Speaking um, of switching it looks ridiculously fast. Yeah it's, it's awesome compared they, to CE anniversary. Yeah, they optimized and changed a few of the technical things on how that's actually achieved, so that's how they were able to do that. Um, how about them blur cinematics, though? Oh, oh God. Oh, the God. new Grave Mind. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, the, that thing is... The Grave Mind low point for me. <laughs> Everything else. Really? It looks like... Where did it get those teeth from? Is what Why do, here's a better question. Why does it need teeth? Because teeth are fucking scary. Like, the, I don't know. The what old... has teeth like that that the grave mind would eat on a halo? Is my question. <laughs> Whatever. It's just an amalgamation of. No, uh, it would be cool if it were things. like six hundred like human mouths in the middle. That would be like freaky deaky. Yeah. But this is just like freaky. Deaky. Okay. Oh god, what if they all talked at the same time? Right. Wouldn't that be oh, like intense? Well, but, uh, who was it that like... uh, the grave mind? Was it? Keys or whoever that he used to actually speak through. He did in CE after he assimilated them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So why not use that same thing? Right. Who knows? I don't know. I thought it looked pretty fucking sick. It, it yeah, as as it a concept nice itself, thing. it looks pretty ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, uh, but I, I everything like uh, blur looks pretty I was crazy. Super disappointed in the how it was rendered before. <laughs> The back, back uh, in a little before. shop of horrors. Um, <laughs> yeah, like a that's plant, pretty much what it was like a big, plant. It looked like a big plant. So, yeah. Uh, if you if you've watched the uh, the recent documentary that they put out on remastering it, they go through a lot of the um, mocap and um, voiceover stuff that they had to do for those. For the over. <laughs> Who did well, the great <laughs> for the great mind? Okay, for but for, for for the blur cinematics is what I'm referring to. <laughs> I actually don't know if uh, I don't know who did the Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. <laughs> Probably he's he's pretty good at those uh, animated characters. Him and uh, Gollum are, are getting together later to make their own video. Game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but there's uh, a lot of work they put into it this time. Like not just hey we captured somebody's face or hey we just we we captured something so it looks like they're running naturally this time instead of uh, Halo. Original Halo 2, Miranda sliding along <laughs> to try and grab the... <laughs> oh my god, that was... <laughs> yeah, so... Looking at that again. Yeah, so we don't we won't have that this time, hopefully. Um, I wonder if that's the, that specific scene is the reason why they just completely... They didn't do, like, an overlay like they did for CEA. They are just, like, blur cutscenes. It's a video now. <laughs> like, guys, it's, it's, it's not salvageable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, it's not gonna... Uh, yeah. Um, what was that? There's something else. Um, the guy who plays um, the Arbiter and uh, he, he does the voice I mean, Keith for, David. for Johnson and then he does the acting for both the Arbiter and Johnson. Oh, yeah, that uh, the voice. That, that sounds the... kind of insane. <laughs> he was fighting himself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty cool. And they had they had to both act out the part and then later on voice or, or face act the part. Yeah. Which I don't I don't know how much fun that would actually be. That sounds like a lot of actual work and an annoyance to go through. It was pretty legit. Uh, they pretty they had tough. a phrase in the in the documentary. Um, Can you run more but not move? Yeah, that was pretty good. That's pretty clever. Like in the booth, <laughs> sort of running. It's like what? What's happening here? Yeah. <laughs> but um really hyped for that like seriously that's a big part of it for me i'm hoping that's all actually on i shouldn't say on disc on the install and it doesn't <laughs> have to stream uh, oh. which i don't know if anybody's actually discussed or asked about that yet but considering the quality maybe that's a huge chunk of the 20 gigs that we'll talk about later <clears throat> yeah perhaps Oh no, it can't be because they've been showing that on the um, 
the preview streams. So that's in the initial 50 gigs. Okay. Yeah, well, they said campaign. You could play the whole campaign. Well, yeah, people have been streaming it on Twitch. Yeah. They, and the parts they've done, uh, some of them are the blur cinematics, like for the Grave Mind. So, doesn't mean it's still not streaming it, but hopefully it's actually on the hard drive. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, so next included is all the multiplayer of all time, other than Reach. All of them. Other than it's... Reach, the best game with Bloom. <laughs> oh, God. The best game with Bloom. <laughs> the maps in Reach were not good, though. Like, there were very few good maps in that What about game. Reflection, Mike? Huh? That was not a good map. <laughs> <laughs> what are you like, talking about? It's the, it's the greatest. It's not. It's so Mike, bad. You can play the original Reflection in a, in a week or so. I know. <laughs> the prequel to Reflection. Yes. Um, but yeah, seriously, this probably is going to be the selling point for almost everybody, including myself. Like, I seriously just want to play the shit out of Halo 2 again. <laughs> like, that left a serious hole when they they disconnected the uh, original Xbox Live servers. I am more interested in playing the Halo 2 anniversary than Halo 2, but that's because I don't have quite the nostalgia for Halo 2 as you guys do. Well, you can yeah. have fun playing the same six maps over and over. Yeah. I mean, I'm well, to, I mean, to be fair, this? Forge looks pretty intense, but... Forge looks great. Forge with no file share capabilities. Oh, yeah. I thought it's just really limited. Yeah, I, well, I guess you can do game types is one of the things you can do, but... I mean, I'll probably just end up playing whatever you guys are playing, so I don't really care that much. Yeah, I mean, like, all the multiplayer, I actually want to play a good amount of CE, too, because, like, all we ever did of that was, like, some lands back in high school. Right, and I I remember one of the ones you had I missed, so I don't think I've ever really played CE, like, with people. Yeah, I played it on the XBC so. like a couple times, or Excellent Kai, maybe I think it was whatever it was that I used. But I was uh, I was at college back then, and it was basically pointless for me to even try because that connection was so terrible. <laughs> yeah, and like it was barely able to play Halo Two on live, let alone uh, Halo CE on on simulated LAN. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but yeah, I want to I want to get into that a bit more. I have a feeling I'll get my butt whooped by all the uh, people who played the shit out of it for the last <laughs> thirteen years or whatever. See, I have a feeling a lot of those people have like six kids now, and Maybe. they're not going to have time to play. <laughs> I know. Uh, I yeah. I'm. I, I don't do know. Play C though. It, it'll be it'll be unknown in every game. He'll be there every day, no matter what. That fucking guy. Let, let unknown run the playlist for you. Yeah. Uh, Halo Three. I'll play it, if only to see if it plays better. It won't. Yeah. Well, they're not changing yeah, that. Because I've been spoiled with good netcode for the last like seven years now. They're not changing yeah, the netcode, so the, the daddies will cure everything. Of all time, yeah. it'll it'll basically be like hit scan, <laughs> not at all like hit scan. This is this this is what should be Ozzy's tag. Daddies, they're basically hit scan. <laughs> I'm not, like, oh, I'm so sick of hearing about how it's going to save us. I'm like, no, it's still going to yeah, be after playing Titanfall. Yeah. No hope for daddies. Yeah. But some hope. Some hope. Than default halo 3 so yeah yeah we did we did play some recently like in the what was it two nights ago uh, yeah we went through reach and four I and I didn't halo 3 understand what you guys were doing that for other than torture yourselves there, there was alcohol involved <laughs> i didn't have any so oh, see I'm that's why out. you didn't have any fun you have that's to be drunk right you have yeah, to be I drunk did. to think halo 3 <laughs> controls and plays well yeah. Oh, yeah. So. I remember the last time me and you went and played it, and uh, it was terrible then. 
And yeah, each was worse. The aim acceleration was killing me the entire time. Like after five games or something, I still hadn't adjusted to it. I was like, "This is terrible." Like I want to yeah. turn, I, and then like the sh the movement. Like I want to turn around and want to strip. Nope. <laughs> this molasses is, is all you get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like even reach felt. And then when you better. pick up the flag and reach, it's just God. That was horrible. You move so slow. It's. Ugh. At least you have the choice. Yeah, yeah at least you can I mean, drop it. I guess. <laughs> at oh, least no, you wish... chose to pick up that flag. I still just wish you just put the flag <laughs> yeah. on your back and you had full it weapons. Biggie, like, all of us, I'm sure, did it, but, like, walked up the flag and we're like, oh, we have, oh, to, I hold have to hold X. this? <laughs> well, that was the oddball, too, when we were playing uh, one of those oddball matches, and it's just like, wait, what? I can't throw yeah, it? I have to hold on to it? giving me a choice to do something? This is incredible. I don't understand. It wants me involved in my actions. I panicked and died, um, so it's okay. Halo 4 multiplayer, I'm hoping... This will come down to playlist management. I'm hoping they have actual good game types. Ricochet. None of the bullshit. Yeah, ricochet legendary and... Legendary and ricochet. Legendary ricochet. How about that? That sounds pretty good. Calm down. That game looks yeah. amazing. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. To, I, I actually will play some Halo 4 also, and... If only to see a lot of the maps run well in multiplayer. Uh, yeah. Like anything bigger than Haven or maybe like Abandoned or Adrift, like has so many frame rate problems. Yeah, uh, it would be interesting to play Halo 4 at above 20 FPS. Yeah. We'll that alone will be like. We'll I mean, probably become pros overnight. Oh my god. That would be so sad if that, like made a difference in performance like who knows maybe wreckage is a fun map i don't know right now yeah oh yeah <laughs> i'm not sure but facing the sunset <laughs> oh my god even when you did it inside it was still rendering the sunset because of the lighting engine so like Dude. you're you're indoors looking at the sun and it would just lag oh yeah stutter whatever you want to call it um that was bad halo 2 anniversary multiplayer though Looks pretty sick, I will admit. Yes, I am um, pretty despite, for despite that. the map count, it looks pretty sweet. Um, probably will not. Nice. Probably will not vote for uh, Ascension ever. Still, because huh. oh, I still can't believe they made, remade that stupid terrible map. I cannot map. believe it either. Although it was reassuring that Overman and because they had one of the Rain of Walkers talking about Ascension. Because I remember in Reach talking about how dumb it was to remake that map without a banshee on it well, well not to mention pinnacles even worse yeah well pinnacle i mean <laughs> i never really problems. liked ascension in the first place then pinnacle is just like an extra dumb version of ascension because half the map is built around the banshee and, and they didn't have the banshee in that version so half the map was like a pointless death trap yeah well yeah a banshee and uh, a rocket launcher that could home in and actually kill the banshee so, yeah. like, there was a balance between, like, yeah, you can get the Banshee, but if you don't get the Rockets, then you're vulnerable, and you're whatever. Well, <laughs> do you remember playing Halo 2 Rifles? Well, um, even Bungie realized that was a bad idea, and they <laughs> took that out. I remember one of the, like, best sticks of my life was Banshee Rifle, or, like, Rifles on Ascension, and the other team gets the Banshee, and they're, like, invincible, because all you have are BRs. Yeah. With, like, Halo 2 vehicles, which are immune to bullets. And then, like, sticking it from... Well, because they were tied to your shields and nothing else. Yeah, and we still lost terribly. So all you had to do was fly the Banshee it. under the map and get your shields back in your... Oh, God. Your back yeah, in people business. complain about Reach vehicles, but other games' vehicles can be bad, too, so... Uh. I don't know. Um, I don't know if... Like, so there, there's versions of it that... Uh, they, I've seen both versions, so... Obviously, in the tournaments they've done so far, the Banshee isn't there. And then there's uh, the walkthrough version that they showed on IGN, and the Banshee's there. Right. It was there, but weren't they just agreeing not to use it in the tournaments? Um, maybe in the Euro one, but the, the PAX one I just played wasn't there. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Because if yeah. you throw a nade and it blows up, it's a lot easier to kill people with that thing there. Yeah. Because I remember that was a strat too. 
on, 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 on rifles if you got the bad spawn, which was the other thing that was terrible about Team Rifles on Ascension. <laughs> you got the wrong spawn, and you're like, well, I guess we better chuck nades and hope they don't Ugh. get there. Yeah. Uh, but, so, I'm, I'm curious which version will be the default in matchmaking, or if you have to go to the, uh, what was it called, eSports or, or Hardcore Playlists to play that version. Oh, probably. I'm sure they'll do it that way. Um, but, yeah, other than Ascension, I mean, I don't know, I feel good and bad about some of the changes. So, like, Ascension making that that walkway with the, the overshield there now. I kind of oh, like yeah, that. that overshield? So, yeah, so where one of the switches is on that that long walkway. Oh, okay. And there's an there's overshield. Like there, but yeah, that, yeah, that sounds like a good... I think that's a that, good change. Yeah, that's all. It's terrible. Yeah, that's always, a, in my opinion, a good way to deal with a um, part of the map that's either not used well or enough uh, is to add some kind of uh, incentive. So, yeah. Yeah, so like certain maps, you put the rockets on the bottom of the map in the middle of the open because otherwise no one would go there because it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, it, it encourages map movement. Um, and I, I can understand the logic behind the whole uh, the dome that they're adding that you can activate. Yeah. The dome. Yeah. But I mean, well, well, I'll wait for my complaints on that till later. But uh, uh, yeah, so the, I do like that they're bringing back a lot of the interactivity. That was one thing that was awesome in Halo Two. Yeah, that they and never then just again. gone. It's all gone. Yeah. Well, they sort of didn't Halo in Last Resort because it was a Zanzibar remake, but like most maps were devoid of that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Mike, what uh, what Halo Two anniversary map are you looking forward to the most? Uh, geez, I don't even know because I didn't play enough Halo Two uh, back in the day to like really be super excited for one in particular. I mean, I played a lot of uh, the Zanzibar remake in Halo Three, but even then, you know, that wasn't... I didn't even know it was, like, a lot different, <laughs> you know, back in Halo 2, because I well, never even really played it. Well, one change that Dax will love is there's oh, there's no laser. <laughs> I was knee-deep in Halo... Or I was knee-deep in... Uh, was it Dax or when, Kittens? Yeah, whoever it was. Halo Dax. 2. Dax. When Halo 2 hit, so... You and your World of Warcraft. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well... Um, um, but I am. I think uh, it'll be nice to get a big map where people don't have DMRs and you can't get pinged across the map, like right when you spawn. So yeah. uh, Coag will probably be pretty fun. And maybe yeah. in big forge maps. Like, because I remember when we were playing, um, it was that shitty Halo 4 map that everybody hates, and then we spawned I, with pistols. All of them? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Halo 4 map we hate. Um, that that's large apparently. This is a narrow town. <laughs> Ragnarok's pretty bad when it comes to pinging on spawn. No, the one um, the the one on the forge space, um, and we were playing in that special playlist where you got pistols to start with, and it was oh flag. settler settler yeah settler with pistols. oh yeah settler with pistols actually it's fun actually pretty fun settler with DMR and light rifle is really boring. Yeah, so maybe you know that'll be like. The new coag will be it'll be you know pretty fun because now everybody's not spawning with super long range weapons right right away, right? Because I remember uh, the coag remake in, in or the blood guilt remake in Reach and I just fucking hated that map so much and oh, everybody yeah. always voted for it. Uh, <laughs> it's that nostalgia so effect. So bad. God, with the DMRs yeah, everywhere, it's just like instant death getting caught out in the open. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. I think I'm most looking forward to Sanctuary or Shrine. I guess it's called now. Mm, yeah, I really like Sanctuary. It seems like the one they've kept most faithful. Yeah. yeah like I, I hate to be that guy, but like it seems to have the least changes, the least uh, gameplay affecting changes. Like yeah, you can throw down the water, but it's you can still shoot people and get your red reticule and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, isn't it the 
didn't they keep it the um the reach version where you can see from snipe to snipe isn't that i don't think they kept that i don't think they kept that part but they kept the rest of the architecture changes i thought that was terrible though that you could see snipe to snipe yeah that was bad people complained about that from the <laughs> Like that was not a good thing. Yeah, it, I, I'm pretty sure it's still got the like the offset uh, in the middle, like uh, the original sanctuary. Uh, I'd have to go and look at like one of the walkthroughs or something to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, the I, I complained about this in the forums. I kind of tried to make the point this was a minor gripe, but it still affects gameplay. But the, like the there were walls taken out. From courtyards and 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 rock areas and and behind your shotgun, but only on one base and not the other in every instance. That's a big deal. One base I can just chuck nades in one direction and guarantee that it's going to land in the base, and the other I can't, and it's almost not gonna almost guaranteed not to land where I, I need it to go. Like. Mm -hmm. It sounds minor, but yeah, like these are the things that affect um, map flow and, and gameplay. I did not see that, but I am not that familiar with uh, the original architecture either, so that's probably why. Yeah. It, it, it was a bigger issue yeah. on Asylum because it meant that you could hide behind one of the carbine things and not the yeah. other. Yeah, <laughs> among other issues with Asylum. Asylum is not a good map. I, I do think uh, Warlord looks good. Warlord looks pretty pretty awesome. It's just going to be the case of uh, seeing how well people can keep track of what base they're at again. I know. I was surprised they didn't make them more different because that was confusing in the original. Unless you were like, well, I mean, the walls and stuff are tagged in the original, like even in the yeah. Center. It was kind of subtle though, like right. Right. Normally they like make it obvious, like red. This is days, yellow. Yeah. This is... yeah, I mean, after after playing on the map enough, it was like, okay, yeah, I got it. But it, it'll be interesting to see how many people either have never tr played it, like probably Mike, nope. and are like, what are these callouts you're making? <laughs> what I does this mean? What callouts you're making? Yeah, yellow. <laughs> there's a yellow base. How many portals? I'm confused. Uh, well, I mean, there's uh, that. Uh, what is that map called on? We play on CTF and Ricochet and all that stuff in the objective playlist all the time that has like the purple and yellow and red and green or red and blue. Um, damn it. It's like a forge map? Yeah, it's a forge map. <laughs> it's a forge map and we always vote for it. <laughs> it's symmetrical. Um, oh, Onyx? No. Oh. Well, that, that is. No, no, Onyx is good S? too. I like Onyx as well. Onyx is midship, so you should you should be yeah. okay. That's essentially Onyx is midship. Great. Yeah, I don't remember what it is. Okay, it's a good map. You really like it. Okay, we all really oh, like it. Oh, uh, simplex. Yeah, simplex. Yeah. Simplex is good stuff. I said S it starts with an S. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Only so it has it has four bases. Yeah. Well, at least yeah, well, the shapes. Identical. Yeah, the shapes of like gold and, and purple on on simplex are, are at least different. But like, like Warlock, uh, I don't know so much about Warlord. I haven't seen as much footage. But on Warlock, they all look pretty identical, except for like minor. Like there's a waterfall at one little spot, and or there's paint on the wall here, or this wall is cracked. <laughs> they they have different colors, but it's not like the entire base is colored differently. It's like subtle. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's like graffiti. Interesting. Uh, I don't. I can't I'm remember off the top lost. of my head on Warlock. <laughs> on <Yeah>. Warlord. <laughs> Just, just pick so a direction, lost. clockwise or counterclockwise, and that's just, the just look for people to shoot, Mike. That's that'll, that'll pretty much all. It's so I tiny. Yeah. The, the portals are what are probably going to kick your ass the most, I would imagine, yeah. because then you have yeah, to that... reorient yourself every time because there's four yeah, different portals. Yeah, that took a long time to get used to. It's like, okay, I'm coming out of this portal. Which direction? Right. Yeah. Um, lockout looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm on the fence about the stalactites. I think those look pretty rad. Well, <laughs> looking rad and playing rad. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, they, they they make the 
somewhat well, sensible. We have complained many times when we face an actual team on lockout that is, can be very boring. I oh, not. yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, is it might but be... I, I complain that people get bored, which leads them to charging. That's what I complain about. <laughs> like, yeah. no. no. I would say it is boring. <laughs> like, I, I get pretty It can bored. be boring to win at lockout. Because, yeah. uh, yes. Of course, all yeah. I ever do is charge, so... Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't, don't... do that. But... <laughs> Uh, I, I, like, like they, they, we've been given the sensible, somewhat sensible explanation of, okay, so these stalactites help you, like, push people out of these, um, stronghold positions, right? And yes. then, uh, the, the problem is, when, especially when I was watching the pro matches, what happened was everybody would just shoot them on their way to the position anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, like, what does it do if it's not useful? It's just going to be distracting. It's for just a few another seconds. thing to worry about, and that's it. The one mm -hmm. thing that might be interesting is the center one because it can actually like break that shield that used yeah. to be the glass. Yeah, that'll be cool. That I, I see. That's the kind of thing I think might be an interesting change. Like, oh, you can break the glass now, and it can give you another way to move around uh, a map that's already very restricted in its movement in some ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'll be neat, I think. But maybe just the center one to further punish people for walking out in the middle, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But not walking, charging. Chart, chart, sprinting. Yeah. Yeah, sprinting, sprinting with malice through the middle. Yes. S sprinting with malice of forethought. Hmm. Well, um, I was wondering, have you guys seen the other changes they made to lockout? Did you watch the full lockout? Oh yeah, the like the thing at top blue, like the list. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Like that's kind of interesting. That one, I don't know if that's gonna make as big a difference because it's like, oh hey, you can drop here. Oh, I'm yeah. like, well, in the original lockout, you could just drop down the lift. Yeah, I guess it's like an easier. It might take yeah, a half it's not second quite a less. Skill escape. It's just like it's like you're crouching to this vent because it's a first-person shooter and you have to have vents. And Halo didn't have enough vents. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, and it's another way to drop down the blue from the other. Well, you can always go outside and jump if someone's like holding down there. But yeah, like if someone's charging up the lift, you can always just jump towards elbow. Yeah, I mean, that's just, a, it's a tiny change, but it'll be nifty. I do yeah, like that little bit of cover I, they put on elbow, though. Yeah, elbow. That, that's change. good, that's good, I like that. Awesome looking. Like, you can still be punished, fun. but you have a chance. Yeah. Instead of, you are dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that they didn't change, um, like, the necessarily the attack paths for, for um, Sniper Tower, but they... Mm -hmm they did make it um, more one of them more accessible when it used to be just basically uh, a no-go unless you already had control. Yeah, or spawn there, which happened often if you got trapped. But Yeah, yeah you get trapped on, on, on lift and, and elbow spawns. Is, it's like the worst case. Mm -hmm. So we, let's see, we covered Ascension, Sanctuary, Lockout, um, Warlord. We haven't covered Zanzibar or um, Vigilation yet, so uh, I don't know if you guys are all caught up on all the preview videos, but new Zanzibar uh, looks pretty sweet. I don't think I've watched that yeah. one yet. They they did uh, make a few changes on that too, more than just um, graphical. Yeah, what they they changed the inside of the base quite a bit. And they, there's a button you can shoot to open the gate instead of the blue screen yeah instead of the the blue screen I know opening up the middle of that map seems, or opening up the middle of the base seems I don't know questionable to me like if you're trying to armor bomb but uh, the there's also that uh that little like vent or escape path that goes from the the center stairwell to like one of the side entrance oh, things. Oh yeah, that, that looked cool. That might be neat. That might be a cool way to integrate some new uh, attack angles maybe, or even uh, mm -hmm. ways to take the flag out. I don't know how it works exactly just yet. Of course. Yeah, that would be yeah, that'd be a fun flag route. Um, 
Mike, you said you only played mostly the Halo 3 version. Uh, what, what did yeah. you think? I mean, I, I thought it was a pretty good map when I played it. No, I mean, what do you think of the new one coming out? Oh, I mean, um, looks cool. I think it should. I think I'm glad that it has the, the same interactive elements. I mean, I'm really looking forward to those in general because, um, I got a little bit of those when I played Halo 2, and then some of the remakes in Reach. I thought there was, it was kind of nice having that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know I mean, what what happened. Like they kind of I hope they have off. one flag on it. Used to be every map, almost every map in Halo Two, it seems. And one bomb. Yeah. I hope they have one side or single sided objectives uh, in in anniversary. Oh, I, oh, if they don't, that would be absurd. <laughs> that's, that's, I think that's like what do. Saints of Bart built around. Yeah. Very specifically. Yeah. I certainly hope they do. I'd be pretty dumb if they didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On, on the um, uh, what is it? The thing coming up this weekend, the tournament. On the game types listing, they do have a neutral bomb, so I'm assuming that's going to be on Sanctuary or Warlord, maybe. So that might be kind of cool. Um, I haven't had neutral bomb or bomb in a long time. Mm-hmm. We have ricochet. <laughs> we have ricochet. Yay! <laughs> Which is pretty much bomb. Um, you just throw it in. No. Yeah, just like bomb, Mike. <laughs> just like bomb. Just exactly. Okay. I would say um, extraction is more like bomb than ricochet. Yeah, because you have to arm the thing and control the area and prevent the other team from disarming it. Essentially, it's like multiple bomb explosions per match. So that's essentially what it is. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I really like Extraction. Uh, people that don't like it have probably not played the one Extraction version. So when you have multiple Extractions, it, the game type kind of just falls on its face. Yeah. It's so. like... Um, was it like, like Stockpile on Sword Bases like that? Where you could just win in the first like minute? <laughs> and then Yeah, like... one, one base was extremely uh, <laughs> impossible to get your flags home. Uh, until they updated it, of course, they moved the, the location. It was um, myself and Biggie in the Halo Reach beta. Uh, we would win entire stockpile games by ourselves, with just like holding down the blue base when we were red team, and oh, they couldn't the get in. They couldn't oh, get yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> Sword base, such a good map. Why didn't they remake that? Oh, God. I remember giving feedback in the Reach beta, and then nothing happened. <laughs> No, well... Hey, maybe you should make those grenades not like nuclear explosions. They eventually I, lowered them a little. Yeah, I don't... I think that's... I'll, I'll believe it I, about I, as much as they footage, have assault rifles. I have footage on my the, YouTube of both the, the beta and the final game, and the beta grenades are insane compared. So... Okay. Uh, coagulation, though, uh, apparently needed to be more interactive, too. Just cause. Well, they seems like Coag. They changed more than any other remake. Right. Like, so, look, I just look. I haven't watched the walkthrough, but I was looking at the screenshot, and it was like they changed like everything. Like the whole middle of the map's completely different. Yeah. So they added a uh, add more cover and stuff in the middle. Well, which one? Yeah, probably. Understandable. But still, like, I mean, you might actually be able to get into like a foot battle there now, as opposed to before, where it was just like infantry death land. Mm, I don't think it was. Well, there were rockets out there, so well, I remember that bad. It wasn't like Halo dying. Two. It Halo Two. It was, it was a lot two. different. Yeah. I remember yeah. dying with my SMG out there a lot. Okay, I was really mad at people that used battle. Oh, weapons okay. Well, well, let's put that out there to start with. If that shit happens, and that's the starting weapon, I'm fucking rage quitting every time. Yeah, uh, I'm not yeah. even gonna play it. I'm sorry. Yeah, no SMG starts. Maybe they'll be all over the map. It'll be really easy to find. Oh, oh no, SMG say that, and awful. it's never true. I know. Never. But when you were playing BRs on coagulation, uh, vid uh, videos, uh, vehicles weren't as big a deal as they were on um, in Halo Reach. Yeah. Not to mention, like, rockets were useful against vehicles in that game. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'd rather have SMG starts on Coag than DMR starts on Hemorrhage. No. Mm -hmm. no. 
Nope. I don't know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> There's a strong nope emanating yeah, from the nope no, crowd. That's, no, that's... I'd rather play neither. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, DMR, at least you could do damage, theoretically. I mean, they did add, uh, in, in the anniversary version, they added a lot of vehicles. So, like, not only is there warthogs, like there was before, and uh, but they've replaced banshees with hornets, and yeah, you have gun probably. geese. Yeah, gun geese. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see how that we'll goes. See. Yeah, we'll see how well that works. Awesome. Awesome. I'm, I'm curious if that's going to be one of those uh, playtest things where it was, like, really fun to use in, in playtests until you're playing against, like, a big team squad or something, and they just shoot you off of it no matter what. Because it's well, essentially a mongoose, unless you're up close. You should be expecting to just get shot off of it anyway, because it's a mongoose. No, yeah, I mean, they... but people are going to want to shoot people with it, especially for something we're going to talk about later, oh. achievements. Overall, vastly awesomeness from the multiplayer side of this collection, though. Yeah, let's, Like, despite our small gripes we've been through so far. Uh, plus, there's that EMP on coagulation. I don't know how that's going to be good or bad. Yeah, I wonder if that... <laughs> I, like, like it how seems late to me... that was added. I wonder if they added the Hornet, and then they were like, oh, shit, everyone's going to get spawn camped for ten minutes. Unless you have rockets. Because like, uh... they kill things, I hope. Yeah, and, well, are, are rockets in the middle again? There is a spawn of rockets in the middle. I think so. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because then one team gets the rockets and then has a Hornet camp for everybody. But I, I'm, I'm curious though if it's going to be kind of like we were talking on lockout. So like they talked one of the ways to use it is to prevent people from escaping so quickly with like your objective, right? Like they can't just hop in the vehicle and go away. You can have this last second like, oh no, we stopped you with the EMP. You can't go away. Or you can defend right, your that's... base. You can defend your base better against a hornet by just EMPing him because reasons. And Looks great. I'm, yeah, I think and, they're. And we're just, I, don't know. I don't know. I think it'll end up being a lot like lockout, where if you're a, an attacking person, you're just gonna flip the EMP, then grab the objective and just fucking bounce. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if you need to give that much more to the defenders on hemorrhage, but or coag or blood. I don't know if you need to give much more to defenders anyway, because it's usually pretty easy to defend. Uh, if you well, that's what I'm saying. Is it's like so, like did did you need to give them another thing? Unless you just let flag carriers, you know, use all their weapons while they carry the flag, which is what they should have done. <laughs> hey Mark, remember uh, pre-patch Halo Two when you could go you, under and you jump go under the, the base, and you could go under the base and grab the flag through the floor and then fly it... out with a friend flying their banshee all the way home. <laughs> yeah, do you remember how you could throw the flag on Colossus? Can you get it to bounce into the opposite base? Yeah, that was like a physics glitch. Like the flag would land on. Uh, uh... We might talk about Halo Two later, right? <laughs> Yeah, we're um, talking about Halo 2, I'm going to call it. Oh, man. Glitches and all, it's amazing. Yeah, anyway, anyway, Bloodline looks pretty good. Yeah, all the maps look good, and I have a feeling they'll still play well. Um, not sold on all the interactive stuff, but like I said, Sanctuary, that's kind of a neat thing, because it's not too... Well, and you can take them all annoying. out. So... Right. We'll see. There I like... It's hopefully going to be a pro version of all of yeah. our classics. So, so yeah, that... announced that. People keep saying that in the forums, too, like on Gaff. Uh, well, you can just forge it out. I'm like, well, I guess I'm only playing customs then for some of these things. I don't know. I can imagine them putting in the the classic version just to pretend like they have more maps in. Right. The, well, and they did say they're going to have, like, the classic versions of each thing. But I'm wondering, right, but... like, how much of that is going to be in matchmaking? I don't know. I would... Well, if I were them, I would put them in there just to pretend like you had more maps than you did. Like, mm -hmm. oh, there's only six, but they both have two versions that are different. Right. But, so uh, hopefully that'll happen, at least. So, moving on. Seems been on reasonable. For a while. Mm -hmm. um, multiplayer is going to be awesome. It's basically what most of us are going to be playing in my, mm -hmm. in my book. Uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people doing campaigns galore, because there's a lot tied to that. Uh, yeah. Uh, one thing tied to everything now is uh, what they're calling quote, universal control schemes. Oh, God. Bumper jumper in all games. I'm thrilled. 
Yeah, so yeah. I th it's kind of a misnomer because it won't necessarily be the same buttons doing the same things in all cases. Like there's one where you can select default and it'll do whatever the default is in that game. As long as left bumper is jump and right bumper is melee, I'll be set. Are you sure? Uh, that's usually what bumper jumper is all about. Well, do they have that? Yeah, that's one of them. I don't know much they about do. the control scheme. Yeah, they do. They, they, they got a whole bunch of them in there. Um, okay, well, yeah, that's... Yeah, which, so, so that's nice. I mean, they could have just made it to where you just select whatever it is in the game. Um, oh, yeah, that... And uh, without touching on it just yet, uh, but custom controls are still still not there. Uh, and the fact that they were able to map some of these control schemes to the older games is an achievement in and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get into that later, why that's such a huge deal that that even happened to begin with. But uh, let's just say that having the option for these control schemes is a huge plus. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. I'd be so screwed going back and forth between like Halo or like the games that have had Bumper Jumper, like going back to like Halo Two. Yeah, just... that would be a mess in the combined playlist. They'd be like borderline yeah. unplayable. It's gonna be a mess anyway, like it's switching good. between engines all the time. Like ah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's that's gonna be really weird. Why? Why jump. can't I? Why? Why? Why is this going no back work? To, like going to, playing like Halo Two Anniversary and then going to Halo Three or something after that. Mm -hmm. Like right. what? Ugh. We'll we'll have to have the power of the vote so we can just say, guys, we're playing anniversary tonight. Period. Mm -hmm. The power of the yeah. vote. Uh, or like I said, let's do a bunch of customs. Fuck it, we'll actually probably have enough people to do it now. Yeah. Oh, customs are wonderful. Uh, Love yeah, doing customs. No offense to Kame, but we won't have to deal with as many Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Deadies or not. <laughs> oh man. Um, all of these single player and uh, multiplayer games have been up out the wazoo um, everything's running at 1080p of some sort um, mostly 60 frames per second uh, we can get into nitpicky details later but um, this, I think this is going to have a more of an impact than people imagine just like the actual fidelity of the games Hmm. So like like if you go um like I have my original Xbox just over here and I tried Halo Two on it the other day and you go on there and even playing through component which is the best option you had back then sometimes you just can't see things once they're a certain distance away yeah and I, I have a feeling this will be a massive improvement over 480p component <laughs> just yeah. just can, just hoping that's the case like. Yeah, uh, that, I... that uh, original Halo 2 will actually probably, I mean, it'll look, you know, outdated, but it'll probably be really sharp, you know, to play that. Right. Because I remember playing it on uh, Halo 2 Anniversary at 1080p, and I mean, the textures aren't anything to write home about, but, you, mean uh, Vista? you know, it's, it's, yeah, on Vista. Vista well, I mean, I wasn't playing it on Vista. Vista Anniversary? Yeah. Um, yeah. You said Halo 2 Anniversary. Oh. Um Halo 2 on Vista. Like, oh, you played, played it already. Online. Tell us everything. Yeah, I was like, what? Um, <laughs> played a bunch of multiplayer of that. Where's uh, my review code? And it was it was a lot of fun, especially when coming off of Reach to go play that instead, which is pretty much what I did yeah. when Reach was out. So uh, I think the only thing that's not technically full 1080p is um, the Halo 2 Anniversary Campaign. Yeah. Right. It's like some weird, like thirteen fifty two by ten eighty or some some number yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh well. Which I don't really care. Which is kind of an interesting idea to do horizontal scaling instead of vertical. Well, they yeah. Wasn't there some? They wrote about it a little bit in the the um. I'm talking about it in the thread right now. The whatever that site is that does all the graphical comparisons. I don't. I don't know. Ne Neogaf. <laughs> NeoGAF does a lot <laughs> of things. No, the the one that uh, actually compares them. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about, but uh, hey, I haven't read up on it. Hey, everyone in Off Topic. Uh, my wife broke my dick and I'm pissing blood, so 
Uh, what, what do I do? And I didn't even open that thread because I knew it was going to be that. Wow, okay. that's great. Thankfully, there were no comparative images in that thread. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Before and after. But, uh, yeah, so... Anyway, not bummed about the res. Resolution, yeah, that I can kind of understand. Personally, I would rather have it be... You can just select uh, classic or anniversary before you start and then I just have everything to the max instead of having to have two frame buffers yeah I can but wonder if it's the... kind of a neat effect still I mean yeah it is a neat effect and it's I'm excited like I said about it being so instant because Halo yeah, regular anniversary out. was kind of slow so I you did like, that like so few uh, times so okay. I would like do it one time on a level exactly like, oh, that's, that's yeah. neat and then i would then i wouldn't do it again. yeah so, so i don't know why they had know. to keep it i think that yeah they didn't need to keep it other than they'd already did it before but yeah they, they had the the code base ready to go would be my guess yeah <laughs> well, let's program as little as we possibly can with this massive <laughs> yeah. okay undertaking. we can port this all right okay put it on the feature list uh, um yeah it, I was watching um, one of the streams, one of the gaffers posted, I can't remember his name right now, unfortunately, um, but I was watching him stream, this one, uh, a guy from the UK, I believe, and one thing I noticed is he was switching between classic and, and new, and some of the, like, like he'd, he had killed a jackal, I think it was, and when he switched back to classic from anniversary, the jackal was in a completely different location or wasn't there. So, it seems uh, as though the actual uh, physics only applies to active or, or unused things. If that makes sense. So, like, they don't keep track of dead bodies between the two frame buffers. Or the, between the two renderings, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to say they did do that in CA, I, though. I don't remember. Because I never played. I, I think the constantly. bodies you could switch and they'd be there. That's like a thing I, I played it a couple not even ago, have tried but... to do. <laughs> yeah, that's not a big deal. I mean, yeah, I know. I know. Whatever. I was just pointing out that's kind of like a little quirk. So kind of that's interesting. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be tons. Honestly. Yeah, a, a little insight into how they achieve the the switching is I think they prioritize which which things actually matter, so they can keep the the resolution they do have. Oh yeah, performance was probably um, obviously was an issue. So not only is everything gonna be crazy pretty, finally a decent resolution, decent frame rate. Um, Halo CE multiplayer finally officially online on an Xbox platform mm -hmm. oh, on shit. Xbox Live. Uh, it's not, I <laughs> it's quote not Halo PC, even though it's essentially based on the engine from what we hear. Yeah. Uh, with its ugly teleporters. Yeah, everybody's yeah. like, I was like, man, these uh, CE purists were real quick to pick up every little thing, like they knew it by heart. Every every pixel that was not right, like, well, I guess this is this the PC version. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's pretty quick, guys. Good job. The density on this fog is off. Yeah, this this okay. fog. Uh, <laughs> this isn't the right fog, sir. Quit lying, Frankie. <laughs> You, no you said it was the original that. CE. You lied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I never played it, so I I don't really care. I played it on PC, that. like, forever ago, like, when it came out, because I didn't have an Xbox at the time. I think yeah, the coolest I... thing, I think the coolest thing is, um, it's, but even for me and, and you, Mark, is, like, the PC-only Halo CE maps and Halo Vista maps. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, so th yeah, that's cool because so be I didn't get to play like... much of those at all. Like I didn't play any yeah. of the Halo PC ones because I didn't have Halo PC. Yeah, me neither. Like I did, I just never played it online. I played it through the campaign. Yeah, you'd be hard pressed to find people who played every one of those maps before. Right. Like I can't imagine there's a whole lot of them. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember I'm, one I'm of the uh, Halo Two Vista ones being pretty pretty fun. I didn't care too much for the city one. I forget the name. I can't remember the name. But there was one that was kind of similar to Relic, but less uh, less yeah, and Normandy. Wasn't there like a big sort of... Um, 
what's that predecessor to the Halo Three map, the bridge? No, uh, Narrows. Yeah, there was like a sort of like Narrows, but Halo Two. I don't know. I don't know. Anything might be one of this. That stuff. might be one of the CE maps. Because if I remember correctly, Vista only had two extras. I don't know. Let me look it up. Don't you have I the have Halo something. Encyclopedia or something, Mark? Um, I, do, I don't think I, it's in there. The, one of the... There's like multiple ones now. I have an old one. I doubt it's in there. But... Well, Mark looks that up. Uh, we can move on to the topic of the original engines being used for multiplayer. This has been probably the most hotly contested thing in, in Halo Gaff, at least. Uh, especially as far as... Uh, Halo CE goes. So we were told um, everything's running on their original engines exactly as they shipped X years ago. And obviously Halo 3 and Halo 4, that's going to be the case. Um, but apparently both the first two Halos are being run on their PC ported counterparts. Not a big deal to mm -hmm. me. Like don't I said, care. didn't play yeah, much <laughs> CE multiplayer, so I didn't get a chance yeah, to care Vista, as much. Halo 2 Vista, though, that's... I mean, I didn't play Halo 2 Vista, but didn't they... They changed, I mean, some. Like, well, aren't a lot of the glitches different? It, it uses, like, the, the, the patched version of the console one, but then it's ported over. And my theory why they're doing this is because they need to... They needed to port to the X64 architecture that the X-Bone has. Mm -hmm. And instead of using like an emulator, like they could have easily done like an emulated version, like the, the, if the 360 can run it, you know, emulated, yeah. like no problem. <laughs> Although 360, yeah, you would think. I mean, even though there was like the the weird issues I mean, with like shadows and stuff. Probably. Well, who, who knows? But um, I think the issue was that they needed they they didn't have enough time to do. A full-on conversion. Yeah, I. Yeah, which is I. You know, sacrifices had to be made somewhere. I'm sure, so. Yeah, and what I'm actually more impressed is that like three and four run as well as they do. Four, I'm actually believe it or not impressed the most that it's running better because what people don't people don't realize a lot of times is that the 360 is a power PC architecture. It's not a it's not an x64 it's not x86 it's power pc it's completely yeah. different which means a lot of the stuff they had to rewrite and recompile and somehow re-optimize because halo 4 despite performance issues was about as optimized of a 360 title as you can get like they're essentially game. they're essentially hacking the hardware at that point to make it run well it, or run at really all pretty game so i'm i'm impressed that it not only is stable, but actually runs well on, on the one, despite the uh, technically significant performance difference between the two platforms. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing people don't think about, is like both the PS3 and the 360 were huge architecture changes from anything close to what like PC games used to ha uh, were having at the time and still do. Whereas now it's essentially a PC processor that they can port stuff easily but. i didn't know that yes yeah, so, yeah uh, the, I vaguely were yeah the original yeah. xbox had a i want to say 667 megahertz uh celeron processor megahertz what are those what's a mega i think that's correct let me see megahertz uh that sounds right i yeah. do know what those are because I've had a computer or a gaming PC since 50 megahertz were the way you measured it. What, what, are you playing Quest 2 or something? 50 megahertz? That's like that's like Doom era. <laughs> yeah, that's well back. Like original Doom. Which you know I did have. Oh, came out. My, my, <laughs> my, my, my bad. 733 megahertz. What? Crazy difference, crazy difference. But yeah, yeah, it was just a, it was just a Celeron chip, straight from the shelf, mm -hmm. and you put it in a black box. Right? No, Celeron. Totally different. Right. Celeron was like Weird. the uh, 
the bargain shelf versions of the Intel processors back in the day, like hmm. the, the cheaper ones. But yeah, they right. used that and like a, uh, I want to say 64 meg RAM shared with their video card as well. Hmm. So like we're basically going from even worse than like the dumbest of smartphones to what is essentially a gaming PC. And the problem is like you have to adapt for all the different architectures. And there's multiple architectures that use in all these games. So it's a lot more work than people realize like to change all these things and get them functioning. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm not upset about the I, music. I, I am not jealous of that job. Like, way to go, one of seven companies that 343 asked for help. Like, good job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> subcontractor spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, we need a diagram to figure out what, who did what. But, yeah, pretty impressive. Uh, continuing on, uh, good things. The original 400 announced uh, achievements in their 4,000 gamer score. I think there was one I even had an issue with at all, and that was the like four controllers thing because it's just dumb. Like oh yeah, nowadays it's, it's dumb. Like back in the day, it might be okay because everybody would do lands or whatever. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's hold on, I'll be right back. Nope, not, not waiting. Awake. Okay. Oh, our our extra special guest is awake. Uh... Um, but yeah, other than that achievement, everything was... It looked like they finally learned their lesson after... What, what, one, two... Three, yeah, three major Halo titles with stupid freaking multiplayer achievements. Yeah, I... Just, uh, especially the DLC ones, those were usually the worst on like Reach and Halo 4. Mm-hmm. But Yeah, I can't it's so dumb. I remember like the first year of Halo Three or more, like you could not go into a Lone Wolves game without somebody or everybody trying to get a map where you could get a laser. And it's like almost like like every other lobby was people just like boosting for like the laser kills or the overkills and stuff. And it's like I just want to play the Lone Wolves sometimes. <sighs> no. Yeah, multi I don't Multiplayer achievements in general are just stupid. I can't believe... Or like that, where you have to do something in a multiplayer game. In a specific way that's contrary to how it's you like, should be playing to begin yeah, with. Yeah, I can like understand... You're... Oh, continue. Yeah. Well, I, I was just going to rant about, like, kind of what I started posting on NeoGAF, but... God, they're so dumb, because you're just incentivizing players to basically troll their teammates. Yeah. It's well, like, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead that's one of our first issues in the uh, the bitchin section, so we, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so yeah, all these achievements. This is great. It's achievement whore heaven right here. Like four and a half games worth of gamer score available if you want it. So, and a lot of them are pretty cool. Like the campaign ones, a lot of them are uh, like Easter eggs and stuff. So like find find uh, Beamish in the cutscene. <laughs> yeah, um, but. Not only this, uh, the other competitive aspects, uh, there's, there's like speedrunning support now, there's uh, like in-game speedrunning support, in-game leaderboards, pretty cool stuff. There's even achievements on the new list for that, which I actually don't have an issue with those. But, uh, there's a big esports push though, too. Like there's an entire thing at launch, specifically just for the esports uh, Demographic. Entire playlist? Yeah. 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 There's yeah, an entire they... playlist, and they're being, they've teamed up with ESL like three times now already for tournaments, and the game isn't even, isn't even out yet. And ESL is pretty big. Yeah, I, that that's interesting. Yeah, the whole esports, because they've like hired a bunch of esports people, like they're really like focused on that now, and that kind of bodes well, I think, for everything. Huh. Yeah, I can't believe how many people they hired. Yeah, they just uh, it was a few days ago. They hired uh, Strongside, right, or like a week ago. Yeah, and that's compared and, to and that led to the being like oh pros. That okay. that, that led to I the uh, the whole internet 
kerfuffle about the release date because of the stupid clock behind his head or whatever. Oh, yeah. Hey, did Tashi ever post a picture of that? Like you promised? Yeah, That's... who knows? That it's, oh, it's just random numbers that happen to be counting down to November of next year? Okay. Yeah, almost to the day. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> good, good PR control there, Tashi. Yeah. Yeah, at least manage that reasonable. community. Manage like... that community. <laughs> oh, but I mean, it, it's it's a good sign to see that, and everything we've been hearing about Halo Five so far, you know, it's all about arena combat and every fair starts and blah blah blah. You know, of course, it'll always come down to is that actually how it happens in a way that satisfies the competitive community? Hopefully, yes. Uh, the, the tournaments so far. They they seem to be making a really good good faith effort. Yeah, and uh, aren't the what I've heard about it just obliquely? It sounds good. Like people have been approved of the Halo Five gameplay. So right, yeah. Uh, there's that one guy who posted in the gap thread. Right. Yeah. I don't know if there's other people who have talked about it yet. Sounds like Mike's back. I'm back. Okay. Oh, okay. I could hear myself a little. Um, and I can't wear the headset when there's a child in my lap. Because he'll just tear it off my head. Is it, He's being pretty quiet. I, I didn't even notice you had him with you. For the moment. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts. But, uh, yeah, so while you're gone, we covered the, the achievements and, like, the, the eSports stuff. So, um... I like achievements. Yeah, so... Safe to say, overall, we're incredibly hyped and super impressed so far and ready to have this game in our veins. In our veins now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yes. This is kind of a different situation than the last uh, show where we were like, man, we're kind of like, yeah, I hope Destiny's good. And then we're just like, ah, oh, what a shit show. <laughs> What is this? What I happened? On that. Yay! And it just keeps getting worse as more and more stuff comes out, and like now we know about the DLC is like they're they're screwing over Xbox owners again. So much! Oh, it makes me so mad. And now we're like, like hey, bullshit. let's do a 180 pretty much and talk about the Master Chief Collection. This is gonna be great. Like, I, I think I'm, I've mentioned multiple times in the thread, like. Once I have this in Geometry Wars 3, I will have no life. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> this will be my free time. But, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so we're not 100% happy about everything, of course, because we're nitpicky fucks. Some of it's because we're nitpicky yes. fucks, but some of it's legitimate. Uh, so let's start off with uh, some of the bad things. Most recently, um, we learned that there's noticeable frame rate drops in the campaign stuff. We don't know about multiplayer yet, which is where I think it'll matter more. Um, but definitely frame rate issues in the campaign in basically all the titles. It, it, mm. That article was, if I read that correctly. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard much about this, but it's all of them, supposedly. I think they said 4 was the worst when it came to drops. Like, it sometimes dropped down to, like, 40 or lower. Oh. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, during the campaign? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, I did that on the 360. I'm not surprised. Well, and not down to 40 either. Yeah. And, and like I said, they're um, completely changing their architecture here on something that's incredibly optimized for one specific architecture only. So that one I was expecting to be the least, unlike everyone else, expecting to be the least impressive of a change. But yeah, we'll, I'm, we'll see. As long as the multiplayer is pretty solid, I don't really care that much about frame drops in campaign. Yeah, and even um, even if the frame drops do exist, I'm kind of wondering how big a deal it is to drop to 40 from 60 versus 30 to, like... Nothing. <laughs> 40, <laughs> notice, 40 to nothing. I don't know if it's going to affect your... like. Yeah, like, I'm not like, sure it'll like mess up your aim, because Halo 4, like you can't shoot or it's really hard to shoot through a region in a hill it's not like it's yeah like you you, uh, you can't like get it to recognize to final boss split screen oh yeah yeah so yeah side note we, we were playing uh, the pre-sequel last night uh myself <laughs> mike his wife and uh Biggie. not me 
Yeah, not you. Um, we've we've been playing it off and on for since release, and um, we finally got to the the final boss. Pretty awesome boss fight, personally. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Game is great. The writing is better than ever. Uh, some of the Star Wars parodies uh, are quite awesome. <laughs> Uh, they had a, they had a C three PO character, and his his name was ICU P. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. and they had a clap RTFC. trap in yeah they had a clap trap called RTFC instead of R two D two, and uh, all he apparently all he was ever talking about was like shoving stuff up people's butts. I guess <laughs> we, we weren't really sure because he was just beeping, but. Uh, <laughs> But ICUP was narrating for us, so that was, that was pretty great. But yeah, so that that boss fight though, really awesome, really cool design. Um, the problem is at certain points there's so many things going on that you can feel how aged the the engine is now on, on the 360, and it's just like frame rate just dies and like it got to the point where the frame rate was so bad that Mike's voice was cutting out because it wasn't it yeah. wasn't keeping up with it, the actual it voice dimensions no it wasn't keeping up with like sending the voice because it's the in-game voice chat so like every oh, time yeah. it was the frame rate was so low that you could detect breaks in his voice as wow. it was running slower and then when it would I did run that, fast and we're like oh here we go throw again. where i rezzed all three of you with one shield toss i <laughs> definitely was i was like up in the air looking down and i think i was running about five frames per second I'm amazed I even hit any of you. That was like play of the century, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we literally lose the boss fight if you hadn't done that. Like it was over right then. Uh, but yeah, frame issues. In my opinion, the way I feel, as long as multiplayer is solid, and by solid I mean doesn't dip below maybe fifty. Fuck it, I don't care. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah, I think it'll be fine. Because like I said, like dropping frames from sixty down is way different from like thirty on a good day down. Yeah, it's so kind of a bummer, but not not huge. Yeah, I think I think the the reason this was such a big deal and it continues to be such a nitpicky controversy uh, is because that's what they based a big chunk of their selling points on. It's like 1080p yes. original engines asterisk. You know, yeah, sixty fair, frames per second. Very Asterisk. explicit promises that. Well, the one thing is, I remember Frankie saying or posting that. Well, hopefully the anniversary, or we're targeting. I remember for the anniversary specifically, Halo Two anniversary, they're targeting sixty FPS, ten eighty p. So it was like when that came out, I was like, oh, okay, well he said. But for the other stuff, I'm not sure they were, they ever like waffled on that. It was like no 60 1080p. Yeah, I mean they were pretty. Uh, like that's it. Like I mean, when you're trying to hype a bunch of people up, it's not really a good idea to put in those asterisks while you're announcing your product. No, but in the yeah, like in the forums and stuff, or even in the um, weekly updates, I think they could have been a little more respect in how they phrase things, but yeah. Well, I mean, you're you're making a package for mostly your biggest fans, right? Like these are the people that are guaranteed to go get this thing. Like there are people that like Halo and have an Xbox One, or or get an Xbox One and they're like, I wonder what this Halo thing is. Those people are going to buy it too, but the vast majority, I would imagine, are going to be Halo fans. Yeah. Well, I don't know. And then, um. I don't know. I can imagine they're trying to find new fans, like they supposedly were. This is why before. everyone loves it. Check it out. Yeah. But um, yeah, but those people aren't gonna. Are they gonna know 60 FPS 1080p? Are they really gonna care no, no. about it's, that? Well, it's like the argument that's made a lot about um, like when Halo 4 came out, and the, we realized they half-hazardly or half-assed uh, added in so many like Call of Duty elements, you know. Oh my god! And it's like it's... these people don't care and aren't going to be playing the game, like yeah. after a while. And lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. What was it like less than, like after the first week, right? Yeah, the epic Firewolf 
<laughs> Push <laughs> Push drop. Rest in peace, Firewolf. Uh, yeah, rip. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, you kind of fall into the same trap when you, you make all these promises months in advance, and then some of them aren't coming through exactly like you say. Uh, but I mean, that's the nature of development too. Some maybe it just couldn't happen, like and still deliver all these other more important things like actually including the multiplayer for everything yeah i am yeah and that's perfectly understandable yeah. um I'm upset. okay so let's move on to let's move on to our multiplayer issues here so let's start with the maps actually let's go out of order of our plan here uh so we touched on this a little bit earlier uh, when we were talking about Halo 2 Anniversary maps. Um, but certain things seem to be changing just for the sake of change. Like mm -hmm. making Sanctuary asymmetrical in, in its uh, architecture. Okay, yeah. I, know, I know you want to show off your skybox. The game, well, they should like, have put a sky, yeah. a different skybox on the other side. Just or like, just make the skybox make... a little higher up, and then you can still see it just fine. And apparently, Mike has birds. <laughs> or, or... I have I have baby toys in here. Oh, it sounded like oh. a bird. Yes, it's a. <laughs> <laughs> this is the target audience of Halo Four. <laughs> Yeah, Babby, Babby. the Babby. Um, yeah, so, so like that—that that was kind of a minor thing. Um, I think the interactive stuff on some of the maps is going to be a bigger issue. So, like in the case of Lockout, you're just going to be wasting time shooting stuff, and then not worrying about it anyway. And then other things like coagulation—it's either going to be annoying as hell, or again, you're just going to be wasting time deploying the EMP before you steal the flag or something. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. With people who aren't like really dumb. Yeah, that, that seems C or um, certain affinities specialty. It was because they did a big part of the Halo Four multiplayer. If I'm not mistaken, they practically like most of the of DLC. Them. Yeah, yeah. Their specialty is BKs. <laughs> um, <laughs> I swear, like third Har must harvest isn't Halo bad. Halo 4, but... Harvest isn't bad. Yeah, no, yeah, some of the maps are good, but just the, yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see it played with like decent people. Like, I kind of yeah. hope they had um, like an omelet and crew pass on all the maps. I think omelet's working on five only. I know, but I hope they like got input from like people who were good at Halo. Yeah, not not Tashi though. Jeez. No. Do you see his his reign as community cartographer? Man, it just made everything worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't really. Onyx, Onyx is okay. Um, yeah. um, like, like, and before people, I know there's some people that like say this every time we bring these things up in the forums. Like, it's not elitist to say that better players are better at breaking the maps. Like. And a better at uh, knowledgeable. No, look, we're all special flowers, um, unique snowflakes, if you will. So what's a what's a snow? What is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I live in New Mexico. I don't know what you're talking. I know. About. Actually, I probably get more yeah. snow than uh, Mike does. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But yeah, there's this is Mike's life. <laughs> this is Mike's life. <laughs> Baby toys. Everybody, get ready enjoy <laughs> yeah pretty much at least he's not yelling at us today yeah corbin likes to communicate through yells and nothing else mostly screeches <laughs> he does uh, enjoy yelling but i mean there, there's this false dichotomy of either you're elitist or you like to have fun and this is what it seems to be and it's like no maybe i just like to play to win it's not elitist to like be competitive well, yeah, for me personally, it like almost de depends on like if my mood, how much. How much? That's why I play big team. Is like oh, I don't feel like trying today. Like yeah, I'm if I if, I'm, if I had some tequila, uh, we're not 
playing competitive yeah. games. Okay, there's there's drunk playlists and there's okay. <laughs> still there, playlists. there's drunk playlists, sort of a little buzzed playlists, and then there's sober hardcore let's fuck shit up playlists. Yeah. And it's yeah. noticeable too, like there's a lot less uh dong blaining when uh when the drinking is involved. Yeah. The games are closer. How did they get the flag? Oh no. <laughs> We're playing flag? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> yeah. I like the halfway through the map or halfway through the match, like oh, it's territories? Just like <laughs> realizing what the game type is. It's a little too late. Yeah. Oh man, territories. It reminds me, we get to play terminal. Mm, terminal. Oh yeah, turf. Turf. Yes. Turf. Turf's pretty good. I, I am kind of curious to see. Uh, I know Frankie basically said a lot of these won't work, but I am curious to see exactly which super bounces still uh, are possible. Well, yeah, especially if it, it's Vista. It's going to be valid, important information. Super bounces. It's going to be important but, information. Yeah. I know double shot still worked in Halo Two. Vista yeah. because people All the button, would use it on me. Oh, All the button combos yeah, the work. animation systems fixed or yeah. Uh, Frankie sort of tried to explain it in the in the thread before. So um, like it has to do with the way that the higher resolution renders the geometry and how that affects the physics system because it was always a physics glitch. So like you're building up extra energy by crouching under some rock or something or or like on um, Zanzibar. Um, Zanzibar, you're crouching under a, a broken window. Okay, well, Halo Wikia, obviously authoritative source, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. says Super Bouncing is out of Halo 2 Vista. Quote, so, out. Which is only possible in the Xbox version of Halo 2 and remo was removed from Halo 2 Vista. I didn't so see it. We're going to Super Bounce at all. Well, I mean, we'll we'll find out for sure. But yeah, it sounded like most, if not all of them, aren't going to be possible, or you're going to have to find a new way to do it. Yeah. Oh, so like. Yeah. I'm talking about Photoshop, actually. It's, it's lag. Well, it's like uh, chopping up on me for doing stuff. Have you up your RAM limit? I am. Uh, I think I'm at. What's the recommended amount of dedicated RAM? As much as possible. <laughs> I have 16 <laughs> gigs of RAM. Actually, there's a break point with Photoshop where if you it allocating more memory doesn't actually do anything because Are you sure bit because it's 32 versus 64 why? bit. I have 64 bit. No, what, what are you referring to? to? I did. I mean, it's it's up pretty high. Yeah, I mean, I have 24 gigs and I've personally gone into my 64-bit Photoshop and told it to use everything. Yeah, I've done that professionally at work. I've done <laughs> it. I've done it amateurishly at home. I, well, yeah, I've done it at home too, but... And it's using 60% of my memory. Hmm. And it's still laggy? Well, I mean, it's, it usually only happens uh, when I have had it open for a long time and I have a bunch of other shit open at the same time. Which oh. is pretty much all the time. How many tabs do you have open, Mike? In my browser? Your browser is probably yeah. using more of your processor than Photoshop. No, it's not, but I, I do have a bunch of tabs open. I Close probably have tabs 30 Mike. tabs open. Firefox anyway. Firefox is the worst offender. Close your browser, Mike. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, so like that'll be interesting to see. Like We know button glitches are in, um, mm -hmm. but Super Bounce is probably not. Yeah, I'm, I'm now. I'm doubting they're going to be in at all. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get count on any of the original ones working. I would mm -hmm. be interested to see if there's like some new way to do it, like <gasps> because the way the physics system changes with the new resolution or the new yeah, rendering. Yeah, there might be new ones. That'd be interesting. Probably yeah, harder. I think, I think yeah. Corbin sees the headset on my head. He really wants it now. Just put him on the show straight up, man. We'll just talk with him. He knows about as much as you. Uh, probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Three years till he can play. I don't know. It's that's too long. long. Parental too decision. Long now. Hmm. Yeah. We'll, play, we'll play the Master Chief Collection first. Yeah. So you can... Educate him correctly. 
Yep. I, I need to break out like my old uh, Super Nintendo and my Nintendo as well. Although I can't find my Nintendo collection, which is unfortunate. Mine is in a drawer in my uh, entertainment center. I, yeah, yeah I my parents have our Super was, Nintendo. But I, I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I didn't get rid of it. so Maybe your wife did. No, she didn't. I still have my Super Nintendo collection is in the basement, along with my Super Nintendo. I was actually contemplating like hooking that up the other day. Not really that recently, but yeah, I was like, man. Um, so yeah, this we'll, run like shit on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's because HD. Yeah, it doesn't it's like, like how analog. How would I even hook this up? I don't even know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So anniversary maps for the most part look great but there are definitely some nitpicky stuff that i either don't get why or don't think they should have done them like the emp is probably my biggest one like nah, eh, no yeah that I, and people are gonna of course come back and say we well, can always play the original like yeah but then it's just devaluing in my eyes certain parts of the, the new collection you know yeah, and not yeah, it's matchmaking. Like we don't have a custom game browser. You can't play maps whenever you want. <laughs> like you have to have some quality limit, but um yeah, EMP yeah, we'll just have Looks to see. Looks awesome. Well, it seems dumb. Okay, here have this cool vehicle, except you can't use it on this half of the map because you're going to get EMP. Well, yeah, and then Because your you're Randy's if, if you have them. a Randy, who knows if they're going to do it? Oh, like, yeah, that's gonna be troll tacular. The IGN it looks playthrough. like the range is pretty close to the base, I suppose at least. Yeah, it's like one third of the map. Yeah, it looked kind of far. The center uh, of the map is clear, but anything within a certain range of the base is no go, or no play. Yeah, well, I have to see how that's functioning. No. <laughs> I think the baby's grabbing stuff. He is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you, you, you'll have some things like um, in the IGN gameplay, for example, uh, during their month long of first when they did co They are terrible at games. First of all, I'm, so, I'm terribly sorry, Max. I know you're probably a very busy person and you don't get to play games much, but you should not be the guy that they're recording for gameplay, Mr. Hoberman. <laughs> Max Overman. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. Like, if you had the touch back in the day, it's not there anymore. <laughs> um, but whoever they did, uh, like, I can understand him doing the walkthrough. That I can accept. Like, okay, yeah, whatever. But whoever mm -hmm. they're doing for the actual gameplay on that, just, I, I wanted to cry. <laughs> they yeah. EMP'd zero enemies and one hundred percent of their teammates. This is the bloodline walkthrough. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that one. The only EMPs they successfully pulled off affected only their teammates, who were already in vehicles at watching, times. Uh, I just watched <laughs> the guy trying to flip the Hornet for like the entire match. That, that that was that was that was Max, I think, too. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> Poor guy. It's getting ripped, <laughs> ripped on. Ripped on for giving us all these great things. Mm -hmm. What a jerk. <laughs> but yeah, that I'm kind of wishy washy on these interactive things. A couple of them. I just kind of don't see the point, like the lockout one. I'm actually thinking Ascension will be better with that one. The bubble? Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, the dish is kind of a death trap. Yeah, so like that, that was that was but... always the biggest issue with Ascension. Like there are so few safe places on this map. Uh huh. He's agreeing with you, Matt. Uh huh. What else, Corbin? He knows all about <laughs> Ascension. <laughs> His whole year of existence. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that, that, like I said, that's always a big deal. There's so few safe places to go half the time, especially if, uh, let's say you made a mistake once and you don't have ultra sniper control anymore. Yeah. Like, your team is screwed until the other team drops their weapons or you magically get a kill. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think that'll be a good change. Uh, plus the overshield with more map flow. Yeah, and, better flow. 
I wish people could saying that jump wasn't possible before. Like that jump was not that hard. Wait, which jump? From that plat that that walkway to the center, where they have the switch and the overshield now. Oh, I barely remember. So th there was that jump. there was like an archway that went over every so many feet of that that walkway, right? Is this on ascension or ascension? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you could just remember. jump on that and jump up. But they fixed it now. They made it easy mode to where you can just it's like its own area. Yeah, that full ramp. Which which I can I, I'm not a, I don't have a problem with that really. Yeah, that that's really fine. But EMP, we'll see. Zanzibar, pretty happy with all that actually myself. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to point out another changes they took out on Camp Froman. There's no under that like there was in right. the last resort. Yeah. That was another change. But I mean, how many times did you actually live down there? Um, I don't know. <laughs> that happened randomly. <laughs> Mike's oh. slapping his baby, everyone. <laughs> he is, he is beating, his, beating the child. <laughs> but, yeah, and there, there was explosive barrels down there. It was pretty dangerous. <laughs> last year's had explosive barrels everywhere. I noticed they took the catwalk out. There's no catwalk like there was in last resort yeah yeah so that was a last resort only thing though that wasn't in Zanzibar yeah um. everything else looked pretty damn similar uh, they added like a little bit of geometry to the walkway between uh, where the camo slash sword was and the, between that and the base that upper walkway where the laser was on Halo 3 oh yeah so, so there's like some extra geometry over there to help you get around better, I guess. Like more things that fall, mm -hmm. more bridges. That that like these things I'm okay with. Other things it's just like ugh, it's just a dumb thing I have to worry about. It's not actually going to change the match. I guess we'll see how much we dislike it and how annoying it is when we actually play it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Like let's put that we're out there. We're, we're, we're all speculating. we're yeah. all going to be playing the hell out of this. This is just our pre-hype hopes fears and 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 uh yeah hope yeah, yeah i'm really hopes, looking fears, forward to it. having okay. a different game to put in my xbox one than destiny because fuck that game <laughs> she gets sunset overdrive the game's pretty amazing i thought you did yeah, guacamelee but... <laughs> yeah go play guacamelee Mike. yeah that guacamelee awesome. is pretty fucking great i have <laughs> to admit i could play that instead than fucking destiny Do it. yeah it's deeper and such DLC things. support. You get a lot of story. Head. There's a story. In it does game. have a story. It actually has a story. Did, what were we saying last night? Like one part of one of the cutscenes in the has more sequel story than had more night. had more story and plot development, development. than the entire yeah. game. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a ten year plan, guys. <laughs> you get experience the story DLC. over ten years. Ten year on, plan. On, only on gonna, PlayStation. They're gonna come out with a DLC that's just like a in game Kindle app and you can read a novel like <laughs> in Destiny. In game Kindle app. Actually, like, that'll be, it'll, it'll be a forty gigabyte patch. So. Oh, <laughs> we heard you guys were mad about having to go to Bungie to read the Grimoire cards. <laughs> God. So now there's an app you can download and you have yeah, to leave an your game. Game PDA that pulls up on you and you can yeah. like see your hands. You have uh, to you have to leave, go perfect. to the tower. You have to go to the tower, go to a specific <laughs> vendor, buy the app. One by one. With your glimmer. Oh, God. And, uh, with your 20, 20K capped glimmer, 25K or whatever it is. Any sense, but... Fill up the cap to 27K, it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> to get back away from Destiny's mm -hmm. black hole of sorrows. Black hole of disappointment. Uh, SRO. While we're on the topic experience. of multiplayer concerns, those achievements. What the hell? Yeah, multiplayer achievements are dumb. I, I can't believe they went back on that. Like, If that is one of the main reasons they had to do an update on day one, I'm flabbergasted. They I'm had sure the so update much... has more to do with uh, all the multiplayer content than just those achievements. Well, I'm sure there's that, but if that was the case, then the pre-order people, or the pre-order, the yeah, the pre-order people could have it already, and 
like the review people could just be playing multiplayer as well. Like, what's that going to spoil? You know. What mm-hmm. can you spoil in re-releasing old games? Exactly. <laughs> uh, terminals, I guess. We know that Master Chief puts a pulse grenade on the Didax chest. No, to the... it's a nuclear device. Well, there's also a pulse grenade involved. Yeah, uh, the pulse grenade is ironic. Also and... Even though pulse grenades are terrible. But never mind. Hey, okay. lore doesn't matter in multiplayer. Remember that. Keep huh? that shit out of multiplayer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if pulse nades were actually nukes, <laughs> multiplayer would suck. <laughs> they should have just kept what they were going to do and make them like, have an EMP as well. Like for vehicles. Or you could actually like... Uh, use them for probably, I would guess, their intended purpose that was uh, to kind of use them as area control. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Instead of we should... their pathetic damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, so some of these multiplayer achievements aren't so bad, like kill X number of people with the gun goose, I think is one of them. Like 25 kills with the gun goose. Yeah, but overall, like doing things that's, overall was fine. That's fine. Those I have no problem with. One that's kind of dumb is like get I don't know if it's one or however many kills airborne with the gun goose like so you're gonna have people fighting over the gun goose, um, and then using it stupidly and ramping and off to do and jumps stuff and get kills with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, but the, then there are other ones where it's like you have you have to kill people that are scoped in in a specific way with a specific weapon again. Um, like, I don't even remember. There's one that bugged me even more. But. Uh, oh, yeah, that was the one. Jack five vehicles in one match. Yeah, that's going to be dumb. No, no, don't do that. No, yeah, I want to play. Match, it's just if it was five match stuff. for five jacks total, be fine. But because everybody would eventually get that. But five right. in one match is dumb. It's dumb. Uh, like and and maybe were, they'll change it. There were folks in the forums that were telling me, you know, like you know, whatever, big deal, you know, just don't worry about it. I'm like, but I have you to play have with. To a, fine, you I have to play with other people. This is Halo Gap we're talking about here, so yeah. So don't take everything said in there with a hefty, hefty dose of salt. So if you have a, legit, a legitimate criticism based on yeah. previous experiences that ruined years worth of matchmaking in certain playlists you're just being salty and you're just nitpicking to to criticize yeah no this is a problem and and not to mention like uh when they released the original achievements it was like the beginning of october one of the first things they did with uh ign right yeah and everybody's like there were no multiplayer this is great <laughs> They yeah. got so much praise, right. like, and the, specifically because they didn't have these kind of uh, of achievements. It's like and nobody came out. Those achievements in there, and no one came out and said, "Oh, sorry, that's not the final list." Um, uh, but thanks. <laughs> it's kind of like lying by exclusion. Like, mm-hmm. tell us if that's not the They're case. Just telling part of the story and not the whole story. I could tell you a story. <laughs> but it's but I have so much DLC to sell you. But I have ten years of DLC. <laughs> ten years of DLC to sell you. <laughs> I could tell you a story, but we have five more. Story. We oh. have five more documentaries on the Master Chief Collection oh. to deploy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that that's kind of a a problem in my eyes. Like, not only that they didn't tell us, but they kind of waited and. It's almost guaranteed one of the things that's being fixed or added with the 20 gig update. Like obviously mm-hmm. that's going to be one of the things. Otherwise, why not tell us to begin with? You know. What about a 20 gig update? Well, not only that, but like these other achievements. Yeah, that seems odd. They. It was an odd thing to announce. Like, oh, by the way, ha! Huh, there's more, and you're like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's some more achievements. Yeah, like who you knows? wanted them. I'm sure so much of it seems, or this game is like really coming down the wire schedule schedule wise. It seems like it's like the I opposite of like... Destiny, huh? This game is being developed the opposite of Destiny. Like Destiny, they worked really hard, 
and apparently had a cogent story and then just said fuck it and got rid of everything yeah everything this out. one they worked really hard they have a cogent story and they have all these things and whatever and they're still trying to put it all in there <laughs> gotta put more in <laughs> there's, yeah like, there's more the game comes out in a week yeah. and it's not done yet we're almost yeah, the there guys patch <laughs> could be dlc dlc is just the entire multiplayer component of the game it's like uh geez uh, well, I mean, Halo 4's multiplayer alone is, uh, is like six gigs or something. Mm-hmm. Because well, yeah, well, not to mention Spartan Ops. Sorry, David Ellis. I'm not gonna play fucking Spartan Ops again. I am. I'm gonna play all of it. I'm gonna play them all okay. again. I'm I'm almost... Almost... Okay, Mark. I know you didn't play Destiny. I played Spartan the beta. Ops. Which Spartan is Ops is better technique. than Destiny. <laughs> Spartan Ops is better than Destiny. It has, has more story than Destiny. It has more story. At least there's than no Destiny. fucking bullet sponge spiders that you get to kill only to get to another bullet sponge. That's what I remember in the beta. There's a, there's a tank, Mark. Spider. Tank. It was a spider tank. Yeah, not just a spider. A spider tank. It was a spider tank, which was kind of a cool design. But, but... we don't hate bullet sponges because we play games like Borderlands as well. Well. But... It, it, even that though, that was it's, there's some pretty poorly done board, bullet sponges. Yeah, the bullet sponge yeah. Destiny yeah, are just... exceptionally poorly done. Well, uh, I read they um they like then came back and said, oh, it wasn't supposed to be that hard for like all of it. Um, that, it wasn't even hard. They didn't change but... it at all. It wasn't it even hard. Like it was just like, it. oh, it's taking more shots. Right. It wasn't hard. It was boring. It was really boring. But anyway, back to Halo. Halo. Halo, the, Halo, the yeah, Halo, Halo of the Halos. Halo, uh, oh, uh, Spartan yeah, Spartan Ops. Ops is done. Awesome. Okay, got that. Don't care. Even in 10 EVP. <laughs> Spartan um, Ops. Spartan Ops is the 20 gig update. <laughs> <laughs> Troll -la 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 -la. <laughs> it's probably a huge chunk. No, it can't be that much. I no, I well, think Spartan how much Ops, was season aren't they two? delaying Spartan Ops, the port, until like December or something? Oh, I but, didn't even hear that. What? What? The what? You know I thought, something we I don't? don't know. I might I, be misremembering, but I thought Spartan Ops was a game. Is that what you're talking about? Um, There's a new Spartan Assault game coming out. Yeah, it's coming out this year. Which I probably will not get because I was not thrilled with Spartan Assault. I still haven't even finished it on my Xbox One or my PC. The co-op on Spartan Assault is pretty fun. Oh, no, it is Spartan Ops delayed to December on Polygon. So you have another 10 gigs to download. Really? Yeah, no, I'm not going to. Like, they're just but... not going to have Spartan Ops in there? Don't worry. There'll be 500 yeah. more gamer score. <laughs> so, yeah, to bring the total are... to 5,000. Can, can you send me that link? Yeah. So that's news. I, I must have totally missed that's that. Weird. There's been so Corbin. much to keep up with, though. I Corbin guess. is trying to get into my paint uh, drawers. This is not, this is not good. It's not lead based, but at right? launch, neither game nor the 20 gigabyte content update will include Halo 4's episodic co op campaign, Spartan Ops. That'll be a good decision. Technical enhancements and we'll release Spartan Ops in December. All 10 episodes at once. Technical Wait, 10? enhancements. Yeah. 50, 100 episodes? There's, there's, uh, I think they missed it. It's either 50 chapters or 50 episodes. <laughs> there yeah, were 50 missions. Like... They should have made 10 missions. I think is what they should have done. But... Yeah, I mean, that's a whole postmortem yeah. they need to talk about. Because I'm sure someone early on said, oh, we're going to have 50. And then they were like, okay, well, you have six maps to do 50 missions on, but yeah. it has to be 50. Maybe they should have done six really good missions for each one of their maps. Well, to be fair... Have, obviously, someone made a bad decision. To yeah. be fair, uh, Season 2 was drastically better. It was. But See, that's not saying much. And then it's like... It's better than Destiny. I tried to go back to Destiny. <laughs> That's our cop out for the next decade. Still better than better Destiny. Than Destiny. <laughs> better than Destiny. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I didn't know about that. So technically, you're getting almost all of the four games in the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. So I guess I, we could, I we highly could doubt about that. But I hate Spartan Ops anyway. So I'm not. I highly doubt the 100 people who still search in Spartan Ops matchmaking are going to care. Mm -hmm. Like I think that's what it was. Well, I guess I, uh, I guess Dace dodged a bullet because I told her I was going to get her to play through the Spartan Ops missions with oh, me. Oh God! 
Why? You're a terrible <laughs> like person. divorce? Yeah. Like, do you not value your, your relationship at all? <laughs> Look, just just go out for a pack of cigarettes and never come back, Mike. Did, uh, you, have, did you and David Ellis have a bet? <laughs> are, are you trying to win some money here? <laughs> Uh, Mike, that's that's a terrible thing to do. That's not even fun to joke about. I I I actually wouldn't get her to play that with me. But I I did want her to play through all the campaigns again. Because she's actually played through all of those already once. Yeah, I got stuff to do on Halo CEA. So we'll see if we can get her to do two. Um, Yeah, so that that basically covers... I mean, there's not too many things to complain about. A lot of it will come down to... Uh, I'm sure it'll be a bigger deal, especially for the CE purists, I think is the biggest thing right mm-hmm. now. Um, there's like field of view problems. There's split screen issues. Oh, the there's font thing. The, the font's different for some reason. And like it's rendered all warped, I think it was. Like the UI. Well, there was something where it was just fuzzier. Yeah. Because they obviously like it's Direct a raster ported. font file. So you scale it up and it's pixelated. And that one guy on Gaff was like, oh, I, well, I fixed it in paint in like five minutes. Yep. Like, well, that's yep. not how that works, but that's okay. That's totally how things are done. But, I mean, so, so yeah. there'll, be, there'll be those kind of things, which I'm not going to argue that those aren't issues. Um, personally, I, won't, I wouldn't notice no, them I, just because I didn't play it enough. But uh, there, there was like field of view issues. There was like the scaling issues. Um, there was st- smaller stuff, in my opinion, like the teleporter texture. Yeah, that's really going to affect everything. Or you know, come on. Yeah, I. Uh, I really think that the community that's really going to like notice that shit is actually not that big. Or just really loud. So, so we're going to hear about it. For a while, but... We're here, just like we can hear Corbin. Like Big Show? Yeah, pretty much like Big Show guy. and Unknown are going to be yeah. whining every day for the next forever. I have a feeling Fun Known yeah. will actually be whining less because he'll, he'll actually be playing more Halo. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Big Show, I, just even if it's like... I don't know if he's going to buy it. I'm sure he's played Halo in the past. I have, have had him ignored for a very long time. So, but everybody always quotes his posts, so I see it anyway. Yeah, that's the thing about ignoring. But yeah, it's like you ignore them, but somebody's gonna quote their post because I don't know. Mm-hmm. They say something so fucking stupid. Somebody's got to quote them, so they can be like, <laughs> "What are you talking about?" That's why I always quote you, Mike. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason you get quoted. Um, hey, Mike's I'm bitching afraid. about people quote uh, posting again. I better quote him. Bitch mm-hmm. about him bitching. <laughs> Mike belongs on this show, man. Like that's what his half his posts are. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. I try not to do it very much anymore. It's just not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I posted. I got all my I got all the bitching out of me quite a while ago, I think. I don't try that hard anymore. It's kind of a waste of time. Mm. Arguing with some people on uh Halo Gaff or anywhere on the internet, actually. Yeah, really. I have more important things to probably be doing. Like shutting up your stupid kid. Oh, that stupid or, kid. You know, working. What's wrong with his face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that those will be issues. Um, I doubt there will be anybody complaining they can't super bounce. Oh, what do you mean? No, people will complain about that. Well, the... complain about anything. <sighs> okay, so people that made jump montages might complain about physics changes, maybe. Wow. But... Yeah, J- jump tages, which some of those used to be pretty cool, and then after a while it was like, here, let's put on unkillable attribute and use a rocket launcher and grenades. I'm like, well, that's less impressive. Mm-hmm. But so it's like quake then. Well, you rocket could do jumping? rocket and you could do rocket and grenade jumps before. Or you could... I was so bad at grenade jumps. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get some of those skulls in CEA. Oh, God, it took me forever. Uh, oh, oh yeah. that's a good point to bring up as another potential minor gripe. So since everything's going to be on dedicated servers, my question is, is everybody going to be host or is everybody going to be client 
as far as glitches and functionality are concerned, yeah. especially in Halo 2, where that was a big deal. I'm guessing client. Client. I've got nothing, because I have no idea. Well, because you could set up a dedicated server in Vista. Right. So if they're using that, I'm. That's you're probably going to act like a client for everything. Yeah. I mean, probably going to be like a client. The, the reason I bring it up is because Halo 2, grenade jumps only worked as hosts. Oh, yeah, there were a few glitches. Get it. There were a, couple, a few glitches you had to be client. Yeah. I think. But, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, like the, the one where you can jump from sword on lockout to, to library. Like, like crouching in that little window right there and like exploiting the physics and you just basically levitate oh, yeah, through yeah, the yeah. floor. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, I think you had to be off host for that to work. And be, you have to be, you have to have somebody there to make sure you're doing it right, or otherwise you're just wasting your time. But uh, there, there's certain things. So those those are like I said, minor gripes. Mm -hmm. So those might come into play, but who knows? Maybe we'll have a Halo Two that's all about the actual gameplay, and Shitting. like button combos are still there. But I mean, that was a part of the actual gameplay itself, not the like, how do we go into ranked Team Slayer? Now lock out, get a lead, and everybody but one person quit who's on the top of the map and can't be seen or found. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the Halo 2 got, meta game. I got to I got to get my 38, bro. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to oh stand God. up here. I'm going to stand up here behind the uh behind the blue lift. Everybody else quit. They'll never find me. Oh my god. Oh, hey, the new uh the new Halo book comes out on Tuesday. As already shipped. Uh, I'm probably right getting on my phone. Is, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like explaining the original story of like the prophets and the covenant and how that came to be. I think is what it's supposed to be. Oh, I might read that. Who Broken circle. Yeah. Someone new. It's someone. Surely. Someone not named Karen Travis. Good. I might get it for Christmas then. Yeah, I, I already, I already have it on pre-order, oh, and it's shipped right back. yesterday. Okay. Well, we should wrap up soon. I have to yeah, wrap up. yeah, we're basically um, at the end. Can I make a couple of random comments though? Sure. Uh, is it me or does sniping look really easy on Halo Two Anniversary? Because some of those gameplay videos, it was like looked really easy. So, so yeah, imagine like not even close, yet. and they got blamed. So, so imagine you have the bullet magnetism and an auto aim of Halo Two. Made to look pretty. And mm. 60 frames a second to where it's even easier to line up these these headshots. Yeah, that might be kind of brutal. I might it's... be able to use the sniper. <laughs> oh, I guess I shouldn't say that because technically Halo 2 Anniversary is a modified Halo 4. Yeah, but it's, so. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking from the gameplay footage they've shown. It seems right, like it, right. Like it some seems... of them are like not even like, it was like, whoa, that I'm I'm gonna be glad when Sprint is gone. It's gonna be oh. nice. Um, uh, I I I think I remember Gosayami uh, during one of the tournaments when he was commentating, saying like, "You saw so and so did a sweep snipe, but in Halo Two Anniversary, that actually doesn't do anything. So that was actually a more impressive play than it would have been in Halo Two. Oh yeah, he's so. sweep snapping was he? <laughs> That's what you did when you sweep, sweep snipes. Sweep snipes were like the show too. Like, why would you do anything else? God, that fucking game. Did you press the trigger within half a second of uh, their head going by? Well, you got the kill. Yeah, you were facing that direction, roughly. Oh, uh, there was something else. Oh, one thing that's going to be interesting on Halo Two. Um, like you were mentioning resolution. Like, I wonder if that's going to affect like. Like co shooting across coag, because like you were saying in original Halo Two, like 480, it was so fuzzy you couldn't really aim. But in 1080p, I'm wondering if you can actually like begin to use the BR better, like across coag, yeah. or at least longer range. Uh, based on the IGN footage, however poorly played it was, uh, mm -hmm. it looks like you can. Well, obviously you can see further and right. and better. Um, I don't know if there's. I'm assuming it's hit scan, but let's it's, hope so. But it seemed like the person was still able to hit them after a distance, but it got harder and harder. 
Mm-hmm. And and the red reticule range seemed about the same as Halo 2. Not to mention it's three bullets instead of just one at range, so it's going to be hard to land all yeah, three. Spread. Well, 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 yeah, but we're, we were saying like on coagulation, you had the Halo 2 VR, and even after the patch, which made it basically no spread at all, um, thanks to the way the network code was, like if you weren't within a certain range, you might as well not even try. Yeah. Even if, but then it came if you could even see them at all to begin with. Yeah, I, I was just kind of on that side. So, but yeah, um, I, probably the one thing that all this rests upon being very successful matchmaking wise. I mean, of course, everything we can do everything in customs. Like people always tell us, "Well, you still got customs, just do it there." I mean, but I think the true enjoyment of a lot of this collection is going to come down to playlist management. Yeah, I really hope they keep it curated and curated well. Which I think uh, their track record of Halo 4 has been pretty good, honestly. F- after making Halo 4, at least the players management seems <laughs> for, for pretty reasonable. If you excuse the fact they made Halo 4 the way Yeah, they after that, they tried to recover. And I think they their playlist management has been pretty good. They're, they're, so. They were a lot faster to admit the mistakes than Bungie ever was. So like, Yeah, Reach, God, if you want to bitch about something... <laughs> I don't, know if you reach players. I don't think Bungie admits mistakes, Matt, at all. Oh, shut well, up. We're mistakes. done talking about Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, well, like, if you remember Halo 2, it was SMG starts on Coagulation and other big maps for years. So long. And then they're, like, finally taking the original Xbox Live servers down. And they're like, oh, okay, so yeah, we admit that was that was a bad idea. Well, like, that's funny that when you put that in there as a joke, but, like, it's also annoying that you put that in there as a joke. Yeah, when it should have been fixed way earlier, but... Yeah. Well, hopefully... I, I am interested to see all the different game types they have in because like even in Halo 2 you have like pro and then if they're going to have MLG and if they're going to have well they're going to have a team hardcore playlist and then they're going to have an esports playlist. So I'm assuming the esports oh, okay. is going to be like the current running things that they're doing with like ESL or whoever's involved. And then hardcore is going to be like the or- original games like game types and 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 whatnot. Like pro and Well yeah, like Halo 2 had team hardcore but a game type, there's what in Halo 2, the game type was called Pro. Like, team well, right, and there was like a Pro radar. I remember. Shut up, Corbin. Maybe. Maybe Kate Mike. What? I can't hear anything yeah. Mark's saying. <laughs> Tell him, take to give you his sh- input. tell him take a shit in the bathroom like a normal person. <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, Halo 2 had Team Hardcore, which was essentially MLG's game types. Right. And then in, in like Team Slayer, they had game types like Slayer Pro or whatever, I guess. So, so I'm assuming Team Hardcore is going to be either just that or it's going to be... Um, like the MLG game types or AGL game types from the other Halo games. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, but yeah, playlist management is going to be a big deal. So far, it looks okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no Griff Ball, so that's good. And now there's going to be like 10 people commenting, ah, you fucking haters. Oh, Griff Ball, that's <laughs> so good. It was a joke. That whole game was a joke. <laughs> um, anyway. But I don't know. Hype through the roof, despite yeah, all these excited. potential issues. Can't wait to launch. Let's go, go, go! Mm. This this week is gonna be terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm gonna, be... I'm gonna be useless at work and and even at home. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna play Sunset Overdrive. Oh. Fuck! It's not Master Chief Collection. What am I doing? Yeah. But, um, it's I am I'm not pleased that the Master Chief Collection comes out in the same week as the new World of Warcraft expansion pack. Oh, World of Warcraft. Oh, no. Here we go again. Oh. Um, are there pandas in this one? 
They're uh, the red always panda pandas now. Expansion? I the have red Ian panda. And the wife both <laughs> Are there dolphin people? Characters. I mean, what's left? Really? Mo people. Mo people. No. 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 Comer. But. Anyway, I think that's about everything. Um, mm -hmm. Can't wait. I don't think anyone else yeah, can. Yeah, honestly, out. super like, stoked. All the like, all the salt's really minor, minor salt. Like I can't believe I I can't wait until Halo Gaff gets back to the old days of, hey guys, who wants to play Halo and have a great time instead of, yeah, I can't fucking believe three four three did this to Halo Four. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So dumb. <laughs> or I guess, I guess we could be thankful that it's not. Like mega post by war every other page too, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he always finds a way to insert himself in the conversations. Anyway, yeah. But, uh, if, if if Halo Five Guardians, which that's the other thing, uh, the Master Chief Collection I totally forgot to mention comes with Nightfall the and the beta. Beta is gonna be sick. Be... It's actually yeah. a beta, unlike Destiny. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, which was a demo that was apparently half the full game. Oh, let's be generous. It was about one third of the game. Okay. Yeah, I, was su I only a played the beta, game. and I was surprised at how much I people were talking about. And that's like, oh, I did that in the beta. I thought the real game would have stuff, but I guess not. Because nope. I learned everything I needed to learn. So, this will be an actual beta, kind of like the the Reach beta and the the Halo Three beta. Mm -hmm. uh, which is good news. If Halo Four had a beta, I think it, like if they had more development time period, it would yeah, out better. Um, so yeah, I, even you know, more to be hyped out, uh, hyped over uh, than just the absurd amount of games and, and, and content you're getting. You're gonna have to remember way too many weapons locations. <laughs> yeah, I can going back to Halo Three. I couldn't even remember where like VRs were. I, I think the pit was the only one I was like pretty damn good at what I was doing still. Yeah, well the pit, well, yeah. I mean the pit's pretty good and then it also, I mean we played the pit in Pitfall in Halo 4 at least. Some other game, oh Narrows. I was like, fuck, where are the BRs on Narrows? <laughs> like, this is hard. Um, yeah, if we don't have, if the playlists aren't good weapon starts like not just in ranked but social too because we don't always want to play hardcore because we're drunk <laughs> uh there's gonna be some some problems and we're probably gonna go to like like a regular customs crew in my opinion mm -hmm. which still holy crap we're gonna have a game we can actually do with customs all the time if we want yeah we, we can have somebody running like MLG FFA midship twenty four seven again. Like I remember those days. There's always mm -hmm. somebody doing that. You somebody, just hop, yeah. you just hop on in, and it's like endless score. Just have fun. It's gonna be great. Like if they don't fuck up the little things, <laughs> which are always the issue. Like yeah, Halo Four was great, and then they added these little things on top, and it's like oh nope. Yeah, but. Yep, pretty psyched. I'm pretty sure Corbin's psyched. He, he just can't wait to tell us everything. He is super psyched. <laughs> but He cannot wait to see all four of those campaigns. <laughs> but, uh, yep. That, I think that's everything, and uh, I don't know what the next episode's going to be about. I want to do one on uh, operating system comparisons between like PS4 and Xbone. Just kidding. <sighs> Actually, but, yeah, I haven't opened my Xbone since I moved. Uh, so I've used it for like a grand total of a week. Yeah, so once I start playing Master Chief Collection, you're, I will you're missing so much. Comments. I'll probably have comments on the yeah. UI because there is an OS update there for you. So right, so we'll it'll be starting from almost scratch. So that'll um, be interesting. But yeah, I have a long laundry list of things that are missing from 360. Still, they haven't put in. Yeah, yeah. and then I mean, and we'll have like a mini postmortem i'm sure on master chief collection when we discover what's actually up so yeah i mean that's gonna take a while though there's so much to look for and do no like no no it's just a couple hours yeah how ign does it <laughs> <laughs> jesus yeah it was kind of weird like when they were they were they're releasing the ign videos and they're like so 
here we are on the fourth map and it's like the fifth week or the first week and we're like what what do you mean they're like this one is sanctuary and we're going to talk about it or, or whatever it was i think the first mm -hmm. one they talked about was coagulation or whatever it was and um baby baby yeah i better go <laughs> He okay. Needs, he needs tending to. Yeah. So the IGN, they were talking. Um, I think their final week of IGN first for October, they were showing off like uh, Sanctuary and like the maps that had already been shown and Lockout or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Hi, we're here at at three four three, and we're talking with so and so, checking out the first map in the Master Chief collection." I'm like, "Good job, IGN. <laughs> you could just cut that out." Yeah. Uh, oh well, but overall, probably the most IGN has helped the gaming community in a long time. Yeah, interesting. I, I I've gone more to IGN's website in this month than I have in the past ten years. I think. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. Well, yeah. Too bad their video players buggy as hell, but really. I actually had zero problems, and it would load the 1080p60, like, instantly. I don't know if it's a connection issue, but on certain resolutions, it would not It would literally, like, you could press play, and then you could press pause, and the video would continue, and the audio would stop. So if you press play again, it would play the audio, and suddenly it was out of sync. Wow. And you had to, like, change the resolution to get it. It, it was... People complaining about it was legitimate, because it was... Yeah, I, I didn't have at any issues with that. If you could, and then because I was watching it at work, my university computer, like the connection's more limited because there's like a trillion people on campus, and it was like definitely worse. Like it would not buffer stuff well. It was just weird. But anyway, the digital future, Mark. I know. Well, some <laughs> need to work on that video player, but yeah. it was all the walkthroughs were really cool. Yeah, I, I do like that 343 is putting in more of an effort this time before a game launches to actually tell us about the game, mm -hmm. get us hyped up, have a reason to be hyped up instead of like, oh, the only information we learn is like not good and it comes from some leaked Game Informer article and all they do is they just get pissed that somebody leaked it. Like, Yeah, that I think, well, that's not how it should be. People, and I think they've... Yeah, I think hopefully with at least Tashi, who we know has actually read like Halo Gaff, um, they hopefully have like a better insight into like how the community actually responds to things rather than like some like poo pooing of like community opinion, which is nice and and is shown like in recent history. So yeah, I mean it's getting to the point like so, even uh, Waypoint is not happy with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Waypoint, the ex Bungie Net people. Um, it, it it used to be where they were like the most loose, I guess is the way you put it. Like they were willing to let the most slide. But like uh, mm -hmm. if you look at the the forum for um, the forum post for when they announced those achievements, the the latest mm -hmm. ones, like even on Waypoint, they're like, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> And there's like one person who's like, "Oh, hooray! More achievements! Ah!" Uh, I can't wait to get them the first two years. Of... Yeah, I mean, you can't even hundred percent the game until three months after its release, anyway. So don't. What do you care? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Spartan Ops. Um... No, no. There's one achievement where you have to play a multiplayer game three months after your first one. Oh, that's. That's interesting. Which least. I mean, we're all gonna get that yeah, accidentally I mean, anyway. That's easy, whatever. <laughs> but, but. but but yeah, if you're just there for the achievements, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> yeah, you have to rent the game twice. Like son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh well. It, it it it'll be great. I have no doubts of the greatness. Uh, I just have minor quibbles. That uh, thanks to I don't want to say OCD because that's a legitimate thing that I don't actually have. But um, what? What yeah. people have actual mental problems? Um, but to use a common phrase, my OCD will bug the shit out of me with some of these uh, little things. So I really wanted to get those out yeah, there. Yeah, and there's always little things. 
if you only talked about positive things, you, uh, that would be really boring. Yeah, and, and not to call out, uh, who was I think it was Click or somebody was saying like, post more positive oh, shit. Maybe. I'm like, yeah, no, we're all. Ex- I mean, obviously, if you like, we did that. Like people, you're excited. We're not like Call of Duty fans, like being like, "Fuck Halo, man." It's we did fucking, yeah, like, but we did that the yeah. first hour and a half here it was just nonstop. Like, this is gonna be great. This is great. This is awesome. How awesome is that? You know? Yeah, and we it, notice these things because we're interested in the game because we like like Halo. But we know, like, there's just some stuff that's interesting. The bad stuff is sometimes interesting to talk about. So yeah, I mean the reason we're bringing up these things is because these are the things that aren't supposed to be good or aren't what we as fans appreciate. Like, that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't go and, like, if you're a book editor, you don't edit and go through and be like, oh, wow, I really love that little colloquialism you threw in that piece of dialogue. But... And then don't tell them to spell correctly. You know, yeah, I mean, you got, we're... Yeah. the misspelled words matter more as when you're an editor than than just shoving smoke up their ass. Yeah, and we're still gonna buy the freaking game. Yeah, that's not, that's what I don't get either. Like, we have the right to complain. We're gonna put money. They're making here. money off of me, like hand over fist. And well, not to mention, there's people who are gonna be like double dipping so they can have a digital and a physical copy. Yeah, sadly, I might be one of those. I might do that too. I might wait. At, I might wait, like, because I want to. Because I don't want to have to go wait in line. Because I don't fucking have time for that anymore. But yeah, like, I want to just use my Amazon I bank. Me too. I just want to use really? my Amazon bank, but I also want to play on Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. Like, I want to play then. So, and I don't live in a big city, so my Amazon doesn't get here on release day, no matter what. That sucks. Period. Actually, yeah, I'm not sure mine would anymore. Yeah, when I lived so. in Albuquerque, really in Denver, really stayed Denver worked for Reach. So yeah, well, actually, I think Albuquerque has an Amazon uh, warehouse too. So a lot of stuff could just straight come from Albuquerque. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah, some. But I, I don't know. It'll be great. Uh, anyway, um, excited, excited. Yep. S- signing off in in, uh, in place of Mike. Uh, this has been your ex wife, Prince Oigan, oh. and and some of Daedalus. Yeah. How do you do Mike's voice? I'm Mike. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, Warcraft. I uh, have to figure out a baby. Oh, fucking baby. Oh, God, Destiny's so fucking terrible. Me, uh, just, I couldn't uh, stop talking about how great it was going to be for the last year. <laughs> you <were> like... <laughs> Fuck, fucking Destiny sucks now. We should look back in the Skype history. <laughs> just make a montage of Mike like, being so pumped. Uh, it'd be so yeah. sad. We, we already so sad. discussed like how he was hyped out of his mind. So oh, he was. Yeah, I missed that conversation, but I watched. I listened to it. But anyway, okay. Yeah. Good times, enough. and uh, I will most definitely see you online finally again. Yeah. Uh, on release, and I hope we see everybody else there. Yeah. Right. Sure we will. All right. See ya.